Tacoma just, I mean, I was born and raised here. It's a place that, I mean, defines me. I don't know, I can't explain it. It's a small city. Everybody kind of knows everybody. They support me 110%. And, and no matter what I do in life, no matter where I go, when I come back here, they'll show me the most love. I always just wore that on my sleeve that I'm, I'm from Tacoma. I'm not from Seattle. This is home. See the Tacoma Dome, the high school state tournaments are there. That's where I broke every record in the state of Washington, every scoring record. Tacoma Dome was good to me. I was his high school coach. I didn't coach him at everything, but I was his high school coach, and you know, I probably could have sat on him a little heavier to make sure work got done. Uh, for whatever reason, that didn't happen. Man, I, I was in. I went to the Curtis for two years, and going into my senior year, University of Washington contacted me. Coach Romar was like, "Man, we need to. Your grades just aren't good enough to get in here." Actually, Romar said he has to bring the grades up to get a scholarship, and um, sent him back east. That was rough because he kind of didn't like when I said, you got to leave. You have to, Isaiah, you have to get things together. This ain't the place to get it together. And it was two years in Connecticut by myself in a little town. It was probably the worst that I've seen Isaiah in a long time. He was kind of was down and out. It took a while to kind of get things together, but he got going after basketball started. It was because Jamal them were in New York, him and Nate, and he got to go there on the weekends that made it big for him. I mean, it's, it's even hard for me at that time, you know, being a professional, but still being away from home, not having a lot of family to lean on, being across the country, and that's tough. And he was at a prep school, you know, and the only friends you really have are the friends on the team, you know, and the only support system you have is your coach and your teammates. So for me, I think it was, it was great for both of us. You know, I had a little brother that I never really had, and, and he has somebody that makes sure he's gonna be okay. The main one that I really like is the is the Poma because he graduated from high school, so I love that. Did my um, junior year over, and went there my last year and, and got enrolled into college, but that was probably the hardest time of my life. It was, it was tough, but when I look at it right now, that was the best thing that ever happened to me because it, it made me grow up, it made me mature into the man I am today, but also it got me ready for college. It got me ready for being on my own. He done well, man. He came back and he was a whole different person. He was grown up. It was a good feeling to see him actually handle college and play basketball.
type of setting? What's, what was your goal coming in? I'm just to make shots. I mean, I knew, I knew the drills they were going to be doing, so that, that, that was a big thing for me to make shots and show, show guys I can shoot it a lot better than I did in college. So. What type of role do you see yourself playing in the NBA? Um, just an energy guy, kind of like what J.J. Barrett is doing right now. I mean, coming off the bench and, and really really be able to put the ball in the hole and, and get, get, get my teammates involved. So just, just making the right play, that's what's big in, in the NBA right now for point guards coming in, making the right play and doing what's right. How would you address the concerns teams might have about your defense due to your size? Um, I, like I told, told people before, I feel like if you put me against anybody, I'll show you I'm not, not that small. I mean, <laughs> I actually use my size size to my advantage and, and getting under guys and, and making them work. Where do you see yourself five years down the road? Um, on the NBA team, having a, having a great first four to five years of my career in the NBA. Character-wise, what, what can you bring to an NBA franchise? Um, just, I mean, I'm a, I'm a lot... I'm mature, and I feel like I got not just a, a good basketball player, but a great person. And I feel like I, I can help teams not just on the court, but off the court. Do you see yourself as kind of a, a role model to uh, shorter guys like me? Yes, yes, I do. And I feel like, I mean, guys that's been in the league that's been shorter role models than me. So I just want to keep the trend going and, and um, have a successful career. Do you think that size is overrated? Yes, it is. I mean, it's... it's it's not like it's something new to me, and I, tomorrow, today I just played against the first big guard in, in my life. So I feel like um, I've used it to my advantage, and the only thing you can knock me for is my size. But I, I'm going to play my heart out and play hard and, and try to um, prove people wrong. With the 60th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Sacramento Kings select Isaiah Thomas from the University of Washington. Good night, New Jersey. His father lost a bet during a Lakers-Pistons NBA Finals game. Lost a bet, so he had to name his son Isaiah Thomas. <laughs> Again, you can't script it any better than that. decisions. Um, Isaiah was a, a really good player for us and, and a great part of the community. So, you know, this is not um, about Isaiah, it's about trying to put together uh, a chemistry and, and a way that we can kind of play going forward. Um, you know, you hate you hate tough decisions. You know, we had an earlier one, too, with, um, you know, with Jimmer, and I think, I think that was a really tough one as well for us. So, I mean, these aren't, it's not easy decisions when you're trying to put a roster together. Austin here with one of the newest Celtics, Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah, Danny Ainge said that he's always wanted you to be on the Celtics. What was your reaction when you actually heard about the trade? Um, I was surprised, but at the same time, I was anxious and excited. I mean, like you just said, I've heard from numerous people, Danny Ainge always wanted me to be a part of the Celtics, and it finally came true.